Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm showing you how to cook a chicken, a whole chicken in your Instant Pot. So I'm Kristen, I am the second sister from SixSisterStuff.com. And I think one of the most common questions I get is how to cook chicken in the Instant Pot. So I've done some chicken breasts for you, I've done chicken wings for you, but today I'm gonna show you how to cook a whole chicken in your Instant Pot. Now if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe and of course push the little bell to get all the notifications every time I share a recipe, especially if you're looking for new Instant Pot recipes. All right guys, let's head on over to the Instant Pot and make this whole chicken right inside. First, you're gonna put your chicken right inside of the Instant Pot. Now, if you noticed, my chicken is completely frozen. So if you thought, it's gonna be a little bit different time compared to how I'm gonna cook it frozen, but I'll show you both. Next, I'm gonna add one cup of water right on top of my chicken. Now, you can season it with whatever seasonings you want, but I just really want the chicken breast, so I am just cooking it this way. So make sure your knob is on sealing, and you can push the meat or stew button, but I'm gonna push manual or pressure cook and go all the way up to 50 minutes because it's frozen. If it's not frozen, you can do 25 to 30 minutes. Now when you're done, you can let it release on its own or you can do a quick release. I wanna eat quick, so I just flipped it on over. Once the pressure is out, you can lift your lid up and your chicken should be all the way cooked through. Now my chicken was a three pound chicken. If you're doing a bigger chicken, like a four or five pound chicken, you might wanna go up to 60 minutes to make sure it's all cooked all the way through. So I pulled it out, put it on a plate so I can shred it up. Now if you want your skin to be a little crispier on the outside, you can broil it for a few minutes to make it nice and brown and crispy. Now, now I wanna show you how tender it is. The wings literally fell off in the pot. But here is my chicken. I love to serve it with my stuffing and potatoes. I'll put some recipes up in the corner for you so you'll be able to find how I make those in my instant pot too. All right you guys I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye!